Finally, um, although he can't join us right now, is our affiliated association representative who brings an outside perspective to our board proceedings, Phil James, President and CEO of NGA. And Mike Holman, President of EdgeTech. Larry Ellinger, Senior Director of Engineering for Health. You know who's in charge by any chance? Someone up there. Is up there? I'm sorry, John, I lost my place. <laughs> At this time, I also want to make sure we acknowledge the board of directors. The new vice chairman of the board and president of the residential products group is Rod Hirschberger. Excuse me. I don't mean to interrupt. I see you're in the middle of something very important here. This will take just a moment of everybody's time. Uh, the hotel called my company. It seems that there's a problem with the plumbing. Uh, <laughs> There's no, there's, there's no water in the entire facility, and, the, uh, uh, and, I, and I have to handle a couple of things. They'd like to move you to another room, but, but there's no other room, unfortunately. The, 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 only, the only access, it seems, to the main line happens to be uh, here in, in, in the sovereign room. So I'm going to be bringing in uh, sir, a couple... Sir, this, this is the Constellation room. Wrong room. <laughs> <laughs> I apologize. I'm so sorry. I, I, I got to go next door. I, I, I didn't mean to bother you. I'm very sorry. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Excuse me, please. Just one more thing. I, I'm, I'm putting. Uh, Two and two together, as I was walking out, uh, I, I, I started to recognize a few people here. I, I, is, is this by any chance, correct me if I'm wrong, is, is this the American Architectural Manufacturers Association, the windows and doors folks? <laughs> <laughs> is this a coincidence or what? You're not going to believe it. You, you know, it, 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 I, it couldn't have been more than a couple of hours ago. I, I was over at a Chevron station this afternoon. I was at pump number four. And I was talking to another fella. He, he was at six. He was across the island there. And of all the things that we would... Was I interrupting you guys? I think the two of you ought to grab a seat. This is going to take a little longer than I thought. <laughs> I gotta tell you, one of the first things that I found out about this group, I mean, this is a group that is truly uh, uh, one of a kind. And when I say unique and one of a kind, what do you really say about a man who could be standing outside in the middle of a 497 mile an hour hurricane and not a single strand of hair will ever be out of place? George's Threat, where are you, sir? <laughs> Table. Stand up, Georges. There he is. Oh, let me tell you. Let me tell you. I am standing up. You are standing up. Let, let me tell you about Georges. Let, 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 let me tell you. Personally, I saw him. I saw him. You're a funny guy. I don't know if I'm getting paid for this here. Let me tell you about Georges. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. Tell I him. Saw, I, I'm trying. I'm trying. Believe me. Believe me. <laughs> I saw him personally jump into a pool, and when he came out, his hair looked just like this as well, did He rides a motorcycle. He rides a motorcycle. True story. I don't know if you know this. He rides a motorcycle. With this head of hair, he does not need a helmet. Let me put it there that way. <laughs> George is threat, everyone. A nice round of applause. <laughs> The man is so popular, his name is Plural. Let me put it there that way. <laughs> I figured out there is an author in this room, written a fabulous book, 
a fabulous book. If you haven't picked it up, it, 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 I think it's number three on the New York Times bestseller list. Just a matter of time before it goes all the way to number one. Do yourselves a favor. It's a terrific, terrific book, a terrific read. It's an autobiography. It's entitled The Florence Nicolich Story, or Why Does Everything Always Have to Be a Federal Case? Florence Nicolich, where are you? <laughs> Florence, I have to tell you, I particularly love chapter 17, and that's entitled, I don't care if you did win the Indy 500, I'm going to be driving right now. <laughs> Florence Nicolich, everyone! <laughs> what do you say about a fella who uh, is actually going to be giving up his, his day job at hurricane testing because he realized that he has a fantastic full-time gig at Hallmark Greeting Cards, and it seems that what he's going to be doing, he's going to be dressed up wearing nothing but a diaper, wings, and a bow and arrow, posing for pictures for their new line of Valentine's Day cards, the one and only Jose Colon. Where are you, sir? <laughs> Michael Pasternak as Rocco the Plumber was the highlight of our meeting here in San Diego. I would highly recommend him, any, any group, any size, any location. He was dynamite. Thank you very much. It's been a pleasure spending this time with you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you.